Hello everyone and welcome to the 100th Season 7 Episode 4 Review. This episode jumps right back to where we were with Hope in Episode 2, being a left on Skyring. My one critique of this specific montage is it feels quite underdeveloped, but introducing new characters in a final season definitely has its negatives, so that was expected anyway. Sanctum is also finally catching up with Clark and the group finding the dead disciple, as well as Raven is being haunted by the face of Hatch. A disciple asks for a meeting with Clark and wants to take her to the Shepherd on Bardo. Clark agrees as she is hoping to get her people back. Raven and Jordan end up figuring out how the suit works with the anomaly being a wormhole and realises that Clark is labelled for capture. I also appreciate the thought that has gone into Raven recovering from having to kill, even indirectly as she has to do that again to save Clark this episode. The name of the episode Hesperides comes from Octavia and something she says to Hope. Also just kind of a funny scene between Hope and Echo about Hercules. Echo challenges Orlando though and gets destroyed being kicked out of the cabin. This scene of them sleeping outside really made the relationship between Hope, Gabriel and Echo more believable, although we didn't really have time to make Orlando's connection believable. This was likely just done because of time constraints, although personally I feel like so much could have been removed from the first three episodes of the season that would make more time for this development. It feels like so much has been packed into this episode compared to the drawn out nature of the first three. Orlando ends up agreeing to train them and we skip to the 10 years being over. In the chaos of it all though, Echo is forced to kill a disciple, and this does not go well with Orlando, so he is left behind. And if we're believing the other disciples, then Orlando took his life soon after Echo, Gabriel and Hope left Skyring, likely heading to Bardo. Now this brings us to the biggest reveal of the episode. I am completely convinced that as I mentioned in my The 100 Season 7 trailer breakdown and analysis, that the Disciples are connected to the Second Dawn cult seen in Season 4. I mentioned that the Disciples were likely Second Dawn, I got the situation a little wrong, but overall without a doubt they are definitely still around, or at least the idea of them. But this could also connect to the theory had about Lex's tattoo, and if Second Dawn discovered the travel between planets while on Earth, then there would likely be drawings of some kind around Polis that could be misinterpreted, like the word Polis itself by the Grounders. The Hundred is very known for teasing a potential villain or future plot point years in advance, so the return of a past plot point for the final season was quite likely, and one of the least explored would be the Second Dawn Cult, so it's very explicable, especially with the vision that Maddie had from the flame years prior. So why am I convinced that the Second Dawn are the Disciples, or that they are basically one of the same? The biggest reason is that it is mentioned that Orlando is a level 12, which is a serious deal and also the level within Second Dawn that you needed to get salvation, and to be allowed into the real bunker. The Shepherd as described is likely Bill Cadigan, the founder of Second Dawn, or possibly a descendant of his. It is clear that the Disciples have knowledge of the destruction of Earth, and Orlando knows what a navy seal is, when he mentions that Dioza never taught Hope to swim. So these disciples clearly have some pre-war knowledge, or at the very least, military history. In the end, our group gets to the anomaly, and opens it, having to pick a planet at random, with Raven picking the ice planet Nakara. The anomaly is powered down by a disciple though, taking Gaia with them. So now our heroes are completely spread out and there is no one to warn Sanctum about what is coming. And with Sanctum divided, that definitely will not end well for them. This will also give the Dark Commander a chance to escape and will also put a lot into the hands of Murphy and Amori mainly. This is definitely the best episode of the season so far in my opinion. It does a significant amount for the story as well as bringing into sight the true origin of this season's main opponent, the Disciples. My personal favourite scene was the conversation between Gabriel and Orlando, about gods with Gabriel saying, no, men condone those things and weak men follow their orders. Something about this interaction I really liked. Let me know what your favourite scene was down below and also tell me what you thought of this episode. 
Anyway guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe for more. If you want to check out my Snowpiercer and the 100 playlist, links will be on screen. Thank you and I hope to see you in the future. Bye.